Here at Raymond Alf Museum in Claremont, California, where they have dinosaurs. I need your help. I hear they have a baby Parasaurolophus here named Joey. That looks just like this one. She lives here at the museum and I can't wait to meet her. What? She's right behind me? Where? Oh, you're right, that was her. Let's follow her and learn about other dinosaurs too. Maybe we'll meet some new dino friends. Come on! Wow! Check out these fossils! <laughs> fossils are the bones of animals that lived a long, 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 long time ago. The study of ancient life through fossils is called paleontology. And scientists study fossils in order to tell us more about animals. And not just dinosaurs either. They studied all kinds of fossils, like this one right here. Check it out! It's a giant alligator that lived seven million years ago. Whoa, that's a long time ago. Okay, alligator, I'll see you later. Let's go find some other dinosaur fossils. Come on! Whoa! Check it out! A Tyrannosaurus Rex! Did you know the T-Rex is my favorite dinosaur? What's your favorite dinosaur? <laughs> awesome! In fact, I always keep a little T-Rex with me wherever I go. <laughs> Can you pretend to be a T-Rex? <laughs> wow! The Tyrannosaurus rex is a carnivore, which means they eat meat. They have really sharp teeth for chewing their food. But not all dinosaurs are carnivores, you know. Some are herbivores, which means they eat plants, nuts, and berries. Their teeth are really, really flat for grinding up food. <laughs> awesome! Okay, little buddy, see you later. Whoa, check out these marine fossils. These animals lived in water. <gasps> oh, do you see the fish? Let's count them. One, two, two fish. <gasps> Let's count the ammonite shells too. Ready? One, two, two shells. Awesome counting. <gasps> oh, and check it out. This is a fossilized sea turtle, an ancient one from millions of years ago. <gasps> Let's count its flippers. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three, four. Four flippers. <laughs> Let's pretend to swim, 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 just like a sea turtle. <gasps> Whoa, check it out. This dinosaur is huge. Does this look like a Parasaurolophus? Oh, uh, no, he doesn't have the crest on his head. Let's see what this dinosaur is called. Oh, this is an Allosaurus. <laughs> cool, it has a really long tail. That's so it can balance when it's running and walking. Oh, and look at its fingers. Whoa, let's count them. One, two, three, <laughs> three fingers. Oh, and check out his sharp teeth. Did this dinosaur eat meat or plants? That's right, it's a carnivore because it has sharp teeth. Awesome job, friend. Okay, let's go find more dinosaur friends. Here we go. Check it out. We made it to the Hall of Footprints. I wonder if, oh, look, it's baby Joey. Let's see if we can catch up to her. Go! Joey! 
Joey? Joey? Huh, we must have just missed her. <gasps> Whoa, check out these dinosaur footprints. Hmm, not much bigger than my foot. <laughs> oh, here I come. <laughs> oh, and check out these footprints. Whoa, the reptile that made these must have been really small because the footprints aren't very big. <gasps> Check out these footprints. Wow. Paleontologists didn't just study bones. They also studied track marks. And this is a mold of a dinosaur footprint. <laughs> Whoa, it's so big. Much bigger than my hand. Oh, I got it. Let's count the dinosaur toes. Most dinosaurs had three toes. Ready? One, two, <laughs> three. Three dinosaur toes. Oh, check it out over here. Some more footprints. But this is from a camel. And camels only had two toes. Let's count them. Ready? One, two. <laughs> Come on, let's check out some more footprints. Whoa, do you see those? I bet this is an animal you know. I'll give you a hint. Meow, meow. That's right, it's a cat paw. Let's count the toes. One, two, three, four little cat toes. <laughs> awesome job. I got it. Let's go see if we can do our own archaeological dig. <laughs> do you know what this is? It's a dig pit. When we dig inside, we'll find fossils. <laughs> Are you ready for our fossil dig? <laughs> Me too. Wow, this feels a lot like sand. Okay, I'm ready to dig. Dig, dig, dig. Dig down deep, dig, dig, dig. Oh, I wonder what we'll find. Oh, digging is a lot of fun. Oh, I think I got something. Check it out. It's a turtle shell. Awesome. Okay, let's put it in our pretend bowl. Boop. Let's dig over here now. Dig, 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 dig down deep. <gasps> Check it out, a Tyrannosaurus Rex, my favorite dinosaur. And it's orange, aw, just like one of Blippi's favorite colors. Cool, let's keep digging. Dig, 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 dig down deep. Dig, dig, dig. Oh, what else will we find in here? <laughs> this is cool. I like how it feels on my fingers. Hmm. <gasps> Check it out. Oh, this is a big fossil. Oh, it's a dinosaur egg. <gasps> Whoa, awesome job. I'm still, <gasps> another fossil. Check it out. It's a T-Rex claw. <gasps> Whoa, I got it. I need my magnifying glass. This helps us see things closer and clearer. Ooh, whoa. Awesome job, friend. Oh, wait, what's that? Sounds like a dinosaur, but it doesn't sound like a T-Rex roar. Let's go check it out. Come on, T-Rex. <gasps> a Parasaurolophus roar doesn't sound like a roar at all. In fact, it sounds like a horn. Check it out. Whoa, did you hear that? Let's try to make that sound too. Ready? Um. <laughs> Great job. Let's listen again. Wow. Let's try this one. This is what Joey might sound like. <laughs> that was so cool. Okay, let's keep looking for Joey. Hey, is 
this the baby Parasaurolophus we've been looking for? <laughs> Let's check. What do you think? <gasps> I think so too, we found Joey. Are you Joey? <gasps> hey, I'm Mika, nice to meet ya. I've been looking for you everywhere. <laughs> do you like to eat plants or meat? <gasps> That's right. Joey is an herbivore. Good, Joey. Can I give you some chin scratches? <laughs> this calls for a 10 second dance party. We did it. We did it. We never ever quit it. We did it. Great job. See you later, Joey. Woo! <laughs> that was so much fun. It was awesome learning all about dinosaurs with you. We did important work digging in a dig pit to find fossils, and we even learned how to talk like a dinosaur. Honk, honk. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. All right, friends, see you later. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me, Mika, and look where I'm at. I'm at Spokane Gymnastics in Spokane Valley, Washington. And this is an amazing place where I can jump and play and move my body and probably do even more cartwheels. Let's learn how to do some gymnastics. Come on. Wow, check it out! We are in a gymnastics gym. This is a place where you can practice your gymnastics moves and climb and stretch and jump. Whoa, look at this. It looks like a giant crayon. Do you know what color this is? The color green. <laughs> Let's see. Woo, these look like some fun shapes. This is a triangle. Ooh, and this is also green. And look at the side here. I see another triangle and it's yellow. Oh, and look, there's some blue. <gasps> Do you know what shape this is? <laughs> yeah, it's a rectangle and it's red. Wow, whoa, this half circle kind of looks like a rainbow. <gasps> and it's yellow on the side, one of my favorite colors. <laughs> Oh, look at this little green circle. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> wow, two more giant crowns. Green and orange. Wow, it's so neat. I wonder what they're for. Oh, look at this big circle. It reminds me of a big, Donut. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> wow. Wait a second. I get it. It's an obstacle course. But we will need to practice and move our bodies and warm up to do an obstacle course like this. Gymnasts need to warm up and be really flexible so that they can move their bodies easily and not get hurt. <laughs> I see a gymnast over there. Let's go say hi. Hi, I'm Coach Kelsey. Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Do you work here? I do, I coach preschool gymnastics here. Whoa, a gymnastics coach? That means she knows a lot about gymnastics. <laughs> Would you like to get a lesson today? Yes, please. All right, let's do it. Awesome, come on, let's go. Yes, I'm so excited to learn today. I'm excited to teach you. Now we gotta get ready, so we have to make sure that nothing's in the way. Oh. Do you think you can take off your bag? <laughs> yeah, good idea. All right, all right. we're gonna warm up our body so we feel good to get ready for gymnastics. Okay, I can't wait. Do you think you can run like a tiger, fast like a tiger? Oh yeah, I know what a tiger is. Can you be fast like a tiger too? Hurrah, hurrah, here we go. Whoa, hurrah. <laughs> 
That was awesome. Thank you. All right, we're gonna jump now like a kangaroo. Oh, okay, jump like a kangaroo. Whoa, this is fun. Nice, okay, can you guess what I am? Roar! Whoa, on all fours and growling. Are you a bear? I am a bear. Oh, cool. <laughs> okay, let's see. Roar! Awesome, let's turn around. Whoa. Nice job. All right, we're pretty warmed up. Let's get to stretching. Okay. All right, we're gonna be really, really big. Whoa. Big, like a hippopotamus. <laughs> you're more flexible than me because you're a real gymnast. I've been practicing. <laughs> this is our straddle shape. Okay. Can you try to like a trunk? Can you move your hands like this? Oh, like an elephant. All right, we're gonna put our feet together. Get nice and small. This is our squat. All right, we're gonna go one, two, three, and pop down. One, two, three. This is our pike. Raise up high. Okay. And touch your toes. Whoa. Oh, it feels really good to stretch. And you can go a little bit further. Nice shape. All right, we're gonna get into our tuck. Okay. All right, hug it like a teddy bear. Get a little rock and roll. When I count to three, we'll do another blast, okay? Ooh, a blast, okay. One, <laughs> two, three, blast. Blast. There's our pie. Nice. All right, let's get our hands behind us. Okay. We're gonna bend our knees, and we're gonna push up our belly. You feeling flexible? Yeah. This is our tabletop. Oh yeah, it's like I'm a little coffee table. Yeah, can you wave? Hello. Hello. <laughs> All right, let's do one more shape. This is our hollow. Hollow? Hollow. <laughs> and you point your gymnastics toes. Pointing so hard. And then you turn it right into our arch shape, like a seal. Our back is an arch. Oh, that feels good. Arr, arr, arr. All right, we're pretty, we're pretty, um, Stretched out. Yeah, you ready for our lesson it. now? Yeah. All right, let's have gymnastics hands oh. on. And let's go. Oh, let's go. <laughs> All right, we got our wall here. We're gonna do some handstands. Handstands on a wall? On a wall, so oh. we can be upside down. Whoa, it's really fun to be upside down. <laughs> Like a monkey, okay. Yeah. <laughs> My little guys, we call these wall walkers. Okay. Did you bring your muscles today? <laughs> oh, I right. did. We gotta push the ground and we gotta stay off our head. Okay. So we're gonna hold ourselves up and we're gonna walk the wall as far as you can. Whoa. Right. <laughs> Let's count to three. Okay. One, two, three. Safely put your feet down. You did Whoa, it! That was fun! All right, let's learn another handstand. Okay. So we're gonna learn our lunge shape, one foot in front a little bit, and we're going to kind of raise our hands, lift our tail, like okay. an animal tail. We reach, 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 and here comes your pop! Whoa, okay. Pop! Oh, there it is! Oh, I did it! <laughs> Good handstand! Thank you! And don't forget to say ta-da! Oh, ta-da! I love it. Okay, in gymnastics, we use a springboard, so we have to learn how to run fast. A springboard, what's it that? It helps you jump. So at the end of this, I'm gonna show you how we just jump really big and reach up high. Okay, yeah, show me. All right, here's our tigers. Okay. So we wanna run fast. We wanna jump and reach up Whoa. high. That looks so fun. Your turn. Okay, ready? <laughs> run on the tiger, jump, oh. ta-da! That was fast. <laughs> Thank you. That was really cool. Do you know what animal this is? Oh yeah, that's an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. cute. Good job. Okay, elephants like to march. So oh. we're gonna march, march, march. And we're ready to do a cartwheel. Oh, on a block? Yeah, do you see the hand? Yeah, that must be where I would put my hands. Yeah, so what I do is I start that lunge again. Uh -huh. I kind of pat my foot because that's the one I want to reach for. Okay. And then we're going to be like a big old, big old wings, like, like a bird. Wow. So we're going to fly over. Oh, did you see that? Cartwheels are my favorite. I do them all the time. <laughs> but this is the first time I've done one on a block before. There you go. Here we go. Whoa, that was awesome. Nice, Cartwheel. Thank you. All right, 
You did some stuff on the floor mm -hmm. in gymnastics. We also do stuff on bars. So let's go check out the bars. Oh, come on. I'm just gonna climb up here. Wow. I'm gonna get super tall like a giraffe. I'm gonna swing. This is called casting. Casting. And once I'm ready, I'm gonna tuck my chin, turn my hands like a motorcycle, and roll. Just Whoa. like that. Did you see that? She did a flip around the bar. Oh, okay. I want to try I now. Think you're ready. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I climb up on the bars like this, and then I hold myself up, and whoo, I'm casting. Whoop. You're doing good. <laughs> okay. Now what? You're gonna tuck your chin. You're gonna turn your hands okay. like a motorcycle and okay. roll. Whoa! <laughs> nice, you went upside down! I did. I did the flip around the bar too! <laughs> so we've done bars, we did some gymnastics on the floor. How about jumping on a trampoline? <gasps> yes, I love jumping on a trampoline! All right, let's do it! All right, come on! Whoa! <laughs> Wow, this is a really long trampoline. Yeah, we're gonna jump on it. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna jump over something. Ooh, over what? We call them fries. Fries, I love eating fries. <laughs> All right. We got yellow. Oh. Blue. <sighs> and orange. They do look like fries. Look, it's like a giant fry. <gasps> Ooh. Yum. <laughs> okay. All right, let's reach up like you're getting the bananas. Okay. And jump over the fries. And I want you to make sure you stop at the end so you can control your body. Okay. All Ready? Right, go for it. Here we go. One, two, three. Good stop. <laughs> Thank you. All right, you'll just come back on the red. Hey. Okay. All right, that was a great jump. I'm gonna move these fries out of the way now. All right. Ooh, I wonder what's next. <laughs> All right, we're gonna be like an alligator, a chomping alligator. Oh, an alligator like this? Chomp, chomp, chomp. We gotta go big. Say straddle. Okay, straddle. Ooh. Nice. And the more you practice, you can get bigger and bigger at those straddles. Oh, gotcha. So you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna jump all the way down and make sure you stop Okay. and come back on the red. So my arms will chomp this way for an alligator chomp? Yeah, reach up high and then our legs will be open shut. Whoa. Okay, here I go. Ready? Jump, jump, jump. So we did some cartwheels, some handstands, some jumping. So I think you're ready to do the obstacle course. Really? Yeah, I added a few more things for you to try, but it'll oh, be a lot of fun. Oh, cool. Well, thank you so much for teaching me gymnastics today. Oh, you're welcome. Well, I'll see you nice next time. Nice meeting you. <laughs> Bye. Bye, nice meeting you. Yes, I can't believe she said I'm ready to do the obstacle course all by myself. Ooh, and I wonder what surprises she put in there for me. All right, first things first, balance. Whoa. <gasps> hey, I remember that block. We used that block when we practiced our cartwheels. Get ready. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> oh, and I can do a somersault down this triangle. I know how to do those. <laughs> Back at the half circle. Climb over. <gasps> and the green circle, I could do a kangaroo hop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, climb up and <gasps> the bar. Remember how we learned how to go on the bar? Hold ourselves up and casting, casting. <gasps> then I can go under and bear walk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and more balancing. I got this, I got this. I got this. Ta-da! <laughs> well, I did the whole thing all by myself. Ooh, there's the tiger mat. Let's run away. I am ready to go. Wow, I had so much fun learning gymnastics today at Spokane Gymnastics in Spokane Valley, Washington. We learned so many things today, like how to warm up our bodies and get flexible 
flexible and strong. Ooh, it's really important that you have really good balance when you're a gymnast. Wow, we even did the bars. I've never been on bars before. Oh, and the trampoline. And then in the end, I got to do the obstacle course. Oh yeah, and I finished it all by myself. Ha, ta-da! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika, good job. All right, I'll see you next time. Thanks for learning with me. Bye. Whoa. <laughs> hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at the Paint Place in New York City. Here at the Paint Place, they have a ton of different art supplies. You can make a sculpture or a painting, but I really want to make a mixed media piece. That's where you use a lot of different materials to make one art piece. Let's go. Oh, paint place. <gasps> Come on. Wow, there are so many cool paintings in here. I see an artist. Come on. Hey. I'm Mika, what's your name? I'm Mika, I'm Deirdre. Oh, hi Deirdre, nice to meet you. What do you do here? I'm an instructor at the paint place, I'm an artist. Oh, oh, you're a very good artist. What is this? This is the New York City skyline. <gasps> New York City, that's where we are right now. I think I want to make a skyline too, but I want to do a mixed media piece. Oh, absolutely, you're going to need more supplies though. So okay. why don't you grab it from the table? Oh, all right, thanks, see you soon. Whoa, look at all of these materials that I get to use for my mixed media piece. Oh, oh, here's an apron. That's super important because that way I can protect my clothes from paint or glue. Let me just tie this on. <laughs> look at all the paint that's already on the apron. <laughs> okay, let's see, what do I want to use? Oh, check this out. Do you know what shape this is? It's a circle, and there's a lot of little circles around it. You wanna count the circles with me? Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten little circles. This is a paint palette. You can put different colors of paint in the little circles. Oh, I definitely need that. Hmm, what else? Oh, some paint brushes for sure. I like these little ones for detailing. Throw those in there. Oh, there's different kinds of ways to apply paint to a canvas. You could use a paintbrush or a sponge. That can make a really fun texture. I'm gonna throw that in there. Hmm, oh, glue. I might need some glue. Let's see, look at all of these colors. I see some of my favorite colors in here. I'm gonna use, ooh. Purple, oh yeah. Purple in there and hmm. Yellow. <laughs> wow, it would be so cool to have purple and yellow buildings. And this blue's pretty cool too. So purple, yellow, blue, hmm. Looks like some of these papers are already cut out. Might need some of these. I'll get red and blue and yellow. Throw in some extra. Okay. Whoa, there's felt pieces cut out. Oh, what do we have here? <laughs> Look, there's a person. Hey, do you want to be in my skyline painting? Yes, I do. Oh. Great, you can go in there and what kind of shapes are over here? <gasps> a sunshine, my skyline could be during a sunny day. Oh, you're definitely going in there. And some squiggles, those are fun. Throw those in there, I'll just throw them all. Wow, look at all these different colored puffy balls. Woo, they're called pom-poms, hmm. I think I'm gonna throw some in there. 
And, oh, I'll definitely need scissors. If you're gonna use scissors, make sure you're with a grown up. And, ooh, a sponge roller? That could be fun. Another way to apply paint. And, whoa, look at all of these different colors. I'm gonna throw that in there. And, whoa, look at this cool paintbrush. <laughs> the big paintbrush. This one is kind of like a triangle. Ooh, that'll be fun. And some colored pencils. Oh, this is gonna be so colorful. What a great way to remember my day in New York City. I'm missing anything? <gasps> I need a canvas. This will do it. All right, let's get started. I'm so excited to make this art piece. Oh, here's an easel. Put my canvas right there. And I'll put my materials over here. Hey, there's other paint here. Look at this bright pink. Ooh, kind of matches my nails. This is acrylic paint, which is different than the watercolor paint that I put in my basket over there. Acrylic paint is thicker than watercolor paint. Watercolor is thinner and transparent, which means you can see through it. Hmm. I think I'm actually gonna use the acrylic paint today. All right, uh, oh, I'll use my paint palette. So I'm gonna make a sky and water. So I'll need blue. Oh, here's some blue paint right here. Okay. Whoop, see? Nice blue paint. And, oh, look at this blue. I love this color. It's kind of like a turquoise or a teal. Put that on there. <gasps> so pretty. And I'll add some black. Ooh. <laughs> and white. There we go. Check it out. And I'll need a paintbrush. Oh, this looks like a perfect paintbrush for my sky and my water. All right, let's get started. <laughs> okay, starting with a blank canvas. I can go anywhere. I'm feeling inspired. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start with the sky. So I think I'm gonna use this blue and a little bit of white. Get some water on there. And I have to be careful because acrylic paint could stain my clothes. Good thing I'm wearing an apron. <laughs> Uh, get this beautiful blue sky. Okay, I think the sky's looking pretty good. And now I'm gonna do the water, the river. Hmm. Let me make the water a little darker than the sky. More blue. And if I add black to it, I can make it a little darker than the sky. Okay, now oh, I see a hair dryer. That's such a smart way to make the paint dry faster. See? Whoop. I'm gonna dry my paint so then I can add the next material. Oh yeah! Okay, I think that's pretty good. Hmm, my water looks really dark. Oh, I bet if I added some blue to it, it would make it look a little more like water. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, whoops. Okay, I'm gonna add more blue. Let's see. This will brighten it up. Because it's so dark, it looks like a street almost, but I really want it to be water. And I'm gonna add a little white. It's always important to clean your brush in between colors. 
make it white on there. Wow, so I have sky and water, and I want some clouds up here. <gasps> I can use my fingers to make clouds. Okay, it's so cool how you can use different things to apply paint. <laughs> and the good thing about a paint apron is you can just ride off. Three puffy clouds. Whoop. All right, let me get. Now let's dry the clouds. Okay, check it out. It's the Empire State Building. I'm gonna have that building in my New York City skyline. <laughs> okay, let's put some buildings on my canvas. Let's get a lot of glue on here so my buildings stick. Here. Look, a yellow rectangle. Rectangles make really good buildings. All right, I finished gluing on my buildings. Now I'm gonna move on to my felt pieces. <gasps> Remember this, friend? Put some glue. All right, what should I name this person? Hmm, I think I'm gonna name him George! George, where do you want to go? Oh, okay. All right, you're a little close to the water, George, but I get it. It's the summer, you want to cool off. And, oh, my sunshine! To find my felt. <gasps> sunshine, there it is. Okay, I'll put the sun up here. Oh, I love it. I think it would be really cool to add some cotton balls to my clouds. There's some over here. Oh, don't these look like clouds? Soft and fluffy and white. All right, let's see what it will look like. Add some here. Yeah, cool, I like it. What do you think? I think the clouds look really cool. And now, I think I'll add some details to the buildings. I'll need a small paintbrush, like this one. Isn't this so fun? It's what's cool about mixed media. You can use all different kinds of materials to make an art piece. Oh, I still have some white paint here. Water in there, and then. Let's see, maybe this building can have some windows. Might be an apartment building. Oh, George lives here. George, you have a great building. Nice tenants. Okay. And then maybe some lines here, lines there. This building can have lines like that. And I'm gonna do three lines on this one. One, two, three. What's so cool about art is you can do whatever you want. All right. Some details, I think that's pretty good. And I forgot, I have something in my jam pack. I'm gonna put some glitter on my painting. What do you think? Yeah. All right, I need some glue so the glitter sticks. I think it would look good in the water. Sparkly water. Now my mixed media art piece is all complete. Oh, hey Deidre. Hi, this looks amazing. Thank you, I had so much fun making it. 
I know the perfect spot where we can hang it up. Really? Yes, yeah, someone's coming to pick up their painting, so why don't we hang up yours? <gasps> I get to be on the wall with the other artists? That's so cool. I hope you enjoyed the paint place. I did, it was so fun. Thanks for having me. Bye. All right, see you later. Well, I feel like a real artist now. <laughs> <laughs> that was so fun! Well, guess I don't need my apron anymore because I'm all finished with my art piece. <laughs> what a great day at the paint place! I got to make a mixed media art piece using construction paper and felt pieces and paint and glitter. Oh, that was so cool! And I even got to hang it up on the wall <laughs> like an official artist. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool! M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Billy Bee's in Anaheim, California. Billy Bees is an indoor playground, so it's a great place to play and have fun and use our imaginations. Come on. Whoa. Hey, it looks like we're in a town. We could definitely use our imaginations here. <gasps> Wait, this looks like a mailbox. Huh, I actually have something I need to mail. A note for my grandma. <laughs> there you go. Nice. Whoa, come in here. Hey, we could imagine that we're at a grocery store. Yeah, have you ever been to a grocery store before to pick out some yummy food? Hmm, let's see. Ooh, waffles, that's yummy for breakfast. There's lots of breakfast food here. Cereal. Ooh, 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 oh, cheese crackers, and a mini pretzels. Let's go, we have to pay for it. <laughs> okay, I'll just ring myself up. Okay, let's see, what do we have here? Cheese crackers, okay, and we have some cereal. Oh, quite a deal. I love this store. Waffle, and pretzels, okay. Looks like it's, oh, only $3? Wow. Okay, looks like I can take my snacks and go home. <laughs> oh, it's so fun to use your imagination, right? All right, well, let's keep playing. I wonder what else is in this town. Hmm. Hey, this looks super fun. Oh, come in here? We could imagine that we're in school. Whoa, a clock. So colorful. <laughs> Will you count with me? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, <laughs> nine, 10, 11, 12. It looks like it's time for school to start. We better get to class. <clears throat> Everyone settle, settle, settle. Hello, I'm your teacher, Teacher Mika. Okay, today we are going to learn how to count strawberries. Ready, class? <clears throat> A one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten strawberries. Good job. <laughs> oh, what's this? Look at this. I see a pattern. Blue, yellow, red. Blue, yellow, red. Blue, yellow. Do you know what's next? That's right. Red! Whoa! <laughs> well, looks like class is over, everyone. You deserve a break. Go outside and play. <laughs> 
All right, how else can we use our imagination? What's this? Oh, interesting. Hmm. Looks like some toy tools and instruments. Hey, these are all things that doctors and nurses use, like a stethoscope. Let's check my heartbeat here. Dun, dun. Good beat. <laughs> what else? Hmm. Oh, maybe you would wear this name tag so everyone would know what your name was. Dr. Mika. <laughs> That's cool. And nutritious nibbles for healthy and happy kids. <laughs> That's really funny. Looks like pretend vitamins or something. Oh, have you ever seen a tool like this? Sometimes doctors use something like this to check your reflexes. Let's check my reflexes. <clears throat> All right. Usually they hit you in the knee right here. Ready? Whoa! Did you see that? Let me try the other leg. Whoa! <laughs> I have really good reflexes. <laughs> All right, I'll put this back. Oh, it's so fun playing. I wonder what else they have here. Come on. Whoa. Hey, look over here. Even with basic shapes, you can use your imagination. Like, come down here. This is a my dog house. I have a dog in here. Do you want to say hi? Okay. Come on out, Rover. Oh, oh he's sleeping, taking a little nap. Oh, <laughs> hey, and I could pretend that this is a trampoline. Will you bounce with me? Okay. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> this trampoline is awesome. Whoa. <laughs> oh, and we could pretend that this is a mailbox. Oh, I got a note back from my grandma. Dear Mika, thanks for the note. See you next Saturday for our tea party. Oh, she's so sweet. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, we could pretend that these blocks are my next door neighbor's house. Let's put some blocks here together to make a house. Whoa, I like this one. Do you know what color this is? Yellow, one of my favorite colors. And it's a one, two, three, four, Square. <laughs> nice. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna put it like this. And here's the roof. This is my neighbor's house. I'm just keeping an eye on it while they're on vacation. And ooh, come with me to the rainforest. Maybe we could ride our skateboard through the rainforest. Whoa, this is so fun. Whoa. <laughs> Whoop, whoop. Whoa, what is this? Maybe we could zip line through the rainforest. Woo! <laughs> and we can pretend like we're worms and dig through the dirt. Here we go. It's so much fun to use your imagination. Do you want to play some more? All right, let's do it. Over here. Look, a circle. Oof, I'm gonna crawl through. Hello, another circle, see? Whoa. <laughs> hmm, I wonder what's down here. Hey, we could imagine that this is a colorful snake or a macaroni necklace. Have you ever made a necklace out of macaroni? <laughs> and I notice a pattern. See? Maroon, yellow, maroon, oh, excuse me, <clears throat> yellow. So cool, right? Oh, excuse me. It also kind of looks like ketchup, mustard, 
ketchup, mustard. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hey, I see a yellow slide. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and I think there's one down here too. Yeah, a green slide. Hmm, which slide should I go down? Yellow or green? Yellow or green? Yellow or green? Hmm, I think green. Hey, will you meet me at the bottom of the slide? All right. See you there. Whoa. Let's imagine that these are colorful logs on a rushing river. Okay, let's see if I can get to the top without falling in the water. Can I do it? I got this, I got this, I got this, I did it! <laughs> oh, it's over here. Whoa, check this out, maybe. This is a big vine that we have to get past, but it's always in the way. Whoa! <laughs> Come on. Hey, look, more logs on the river. Bottom, bottom. Whoa. <laughs> this is so cool. Come on. More logs. Oh, you have to be careful. It's going down the water. <laughs> oh, I see another big vine. We're coming for you, vine. Whoa! <laughs> Pretty good, huh? <laughs> what else is over here? Oh, I see something. I have to go get it. Goodbye! <laughs> I had so much fun with you today at Billy B's. It was really cool using our imaginations Remember, we pretended to go to school, pretended to be doctors, we went to the grocery store. Oh, I wrote a letter to my grandma and she wrote back right away. <laughs> I had such a good time moving my body and playing. Thank you so much for learning with me today. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E. -E. K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> All right, I'll see you next time. Oh, bye. <laughs>
it's a real spacesuit, just like astronauts wear when they go on moonwalks in space. <laughs> it's white with red accents. Oh, and the material is really, really tough to protect astronauts when they're in space. And look at this helmet. This is so astronauts can breathe oxygen out in space. I want to get inside. Come on. Hi, I'm an astronaut. <laughs> wow. Oh, an asteroid. <laughs> I can see so many stars and planets up here. Are you ready? Vroom, 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 zoom, 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 let's go! This is a robotics lab. This is where scientists called engineers code a rover. A rover is a big truck that moves along a planet's surface and takes pictures of rocks and dirt. And the cool thing is it's controlled by a scientist on Earth. That way, they can learn about what a planet is like. Come on, let's go code a rover. Coding the rover means I'm planning out how it'll move on the planet. <laughs> okay, I'm setting up this rover to take lots of pictures of Mars and pick up a rock. Okay, now that it's set, let's place it on the table. <gasps> Whoa, this rover reminds me of an excavator. It picks up rocks instead of dirt, though. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, let's hope the rover picks up this rock. Here we go. Oh, not quite. Let's try again. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> Yay, we did it. We taught the rover how to pick up a rock. Now, scientists can use these rocks to discover different things about the planet, like how big it is, how old it is, and what can survive there. <laughs> cool, let's go. This is where we can build our own capsule, just like Apollo 11. Let's get our supplies. First, we'll need two pieces of black yarn. One, Two. Next, we need a cardboard capsule. Then we need a sheet of tissue paper. Oh, there are lots of different colors in here, but I'm gonna pick yellow, just like my headband. A capsule is a piece of the rocket that the astronauts use to come back to Earth in. We're punching some holes in there. Awesome! Two holes punched in our capsule. Now we'll punch some holes in our tissue paper. One hole. And two. Awesome! Next, we'll take our black yarn and we'll loop it through the holes. Oh, I bet my best friend Blippi and I would have a great time in one of these. <laughs> I love traveling through Face with my best friend. Okay. <laughs> okay, one last step. Take our silver handle and put tape it on top. Now I need two pieces of tape. One. Awesome. <laughs> two. Now we have our capsule and we're ready to launch. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, <gasps> that was awesome. We did it. We did it. We never ever quit it. We did it. Safe landing. That was cool. <laughs>
<laughs> all right, Mission Control, we did it. We went all the way into outer space and now we're safe back on planet Earth. We were really busy exploring space and when it was time to come back to Earth, we landed safely in our parachutes. I just want to thank all the scientists for their hard work. And I especially want to thank my best friend, Blippi, for always believing in me and my mission. <laughs> now let's go see what other things we can make fly through the air. Come on! <gasps> Check it out! An airplane building station. That's right! Airplanes fly through the air, too. Okay. I'll start with a sheet of paper, and then I'll fold it in half. Paper airplanes help us understand how real airplanes fly through the sky. Oh, look, I just made a triangle. See? <laughs> Triangles have three sides. All right, fold it one more time, and another time on this side. And look, we have an airplane. Woo! Whoa! Let's go! Oh! We made it to the launching pad! The shape of the wings is what makes it possible for an airplane to fly. When the wings are flat and then curved at the end, air pressure can sit on top of the plane, which makes it possible to fly through the air! Okay. Let's make sure our launching pad is lined up just right. There we go. So we'll put the plane here, and we'll push this green button. In three, two, one. Wow! Look at that airplane go! <laughs> Check it out. I'm in a science lab. Astronauts are scientists, too. That's because they do experiments when they're exploring on the moon. An experiment is when you try something new to see what will happen. Sometimes you need a parent or an adult to help you. I've got it. Let's do an experiment and learn together. Will you help me with my ooey gooey experiment? <laughs> Great. Let's start off with a quarter cup of water. Splash! And then we'll add a quarter cup of sticky, ooey gooey glue. <laughs> now we'll have to take our popsicle stick and stir, stir, stir. Stir, 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 stir it up. Stir up that glue. Stir, 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 stir it up. I love to experiment with you. <laughs> Okay, we gotta get our glue and water all mixed in. Wow, this is so cool. Okay, we're ready to add our glitter. And guess what? It's my favorite color, purple. Wow, so pretty. Looks very stellar. <laughs> Okay, we have our purple glitter, and now we're gonna add a quarter cup of starch. And that'll make it extra, extra sticky. Wow! Do you see it? It's forming in one big lump. Wow! Okay, I think it's almost ready. I think we're ready to touch it. Ooh, it's so sticky and ooey gooey. <laughs> I've got it. I'll name my slime hmm, Lunar Slime. <laughs> Thank you so much for exploring space with me today. We wore a spacesuit, we coated a rover, and we created our own capsule and watched it float back down to Earth. That was cool. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> all right. 
See you later. Bye bye. <laughs> beep beep. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Dig It in Torrance, California. They have so many cool construction toys here, like excavators and conveyor belts. Oh, I'm going to pretend to be a construction worker. But first things first, safety first. I'll put on my hat and my safety vest. <laughs> Will you pretend to be a construction worker with me? Great, come on. <laughs> I'm at my first construction vehicle. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> I'll give you some hints. It has two arms and a bucket. <laughs> That's right, it's a front loader. <gasps> Check it out. <gasps> okay, let's see how it works. <gasps> oh, start engine. Start. <gasps> wow. <laughs> let's honk the horn. Turn on my lights. And check out these pedals. Whoa! This is so cool. <laughs> okay, let's park. <laughs> that was awesome. Ooh, and look at these big tires. Black and yellow. One of my favorite colors. Oh, let's see what this does. Spin, spin, spin. Whoa. So cool. We can roll it around. This is a big circle. Easier for rolling. <laughs> and these are called treads. They help the wheel get traction. <laughs> and check this out over here. Oh, wow! It's like a construction site. <laughs> and there are three construction vehicles. Red, green, and blue. Oh, and it's a puzzle. The goal is to get each car to its sight. This one is for the blue car. Okay, let's see if we can get it over. Hmm. Da, da, da. Hmm, best way to get there. Excuse me, Red. Da, da, da. Oh, I have to go up there. Excuse me, Red. You go down there. Da, da, da. <laughs> we made it. Okay, let's try for Red. <laughs> Da, da, da. Which way will we go? Huh, no, that's not the right way. <laughs> da, da, da. Oh, we made it. Okay, one more vehicle to go. Da, 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 da. Oh. Whoa, we did it. We matched all the vehicles. That was so awesome. Oh, check it out. I see something cool over there. Let's go. Whoa, check out this building. It's pretty tall. Oh, and it has a lot of great shapes. Do you know what this shape is? That's right, a triangle. And this shape? Circle, great job. Put this triangle on top. Make sure everything's nice and tight. Hey, let's use this pipe wrench to make sure everything is tight. Nice and tight. <laughs> Great! I have another wrench in my jam pack. This one's called a crescent wrench because of the shape on top. <laughs> it kind of looks like a moon. 
in the sky. <laughs> okay, let's take our tools and see what needs fixing over here. Whoa, check out these big blue buildings behind me. Woohoo! <laughs> so tall. Hey, let's make an end together. Oh, and look, I have the perfect shape for that. Don't they look like rainbow arches? <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, awesome. Now I have a second rainbow arch. <laughs> Wow, an M for Mika. <laughs> Job well done. Okay, our project is constructed and finished. On to the next one. We made it to the cement truck. Mix it up, mix, mix it up. Mix it up, mix, mix it up. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> hey, this looks like a hamster wheel. That's a wheel that little hamsters and other animals use to run around and get their exercise in. <laughs> but in construction, this wheel is used to mix cement. It turns it around and around and around, mixing it all together. <gasps> Should we try it? Should we be cement that gets mixed and mixed and mixed together? <laughs> Yeah, let's give it a try. <laughs> that made me a little dizzy. Whoa. Spin, spin, spin like a cement truck. Spin, spin, spin like a cement truck. <laughs> I saw a lot more cool things to do here while I was spinning. Come on, let's go learn more about construction vehicles. Beep, 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 burr. <gasps> We made it to our next construction vehicle. Can you guess what it is? I'll give you some clues. It has an arm and a boom and a bucket. <gasps> That's right. It's an excavator. <laughs> Excavators are used to dig things up. Sometimes it's dirt, but this excavator digs up balls. Okay, we have to stay out of the construction zone, okay? <laughs> oh, here it goes. <laughs> Let's try it again. We dug up a lot. Our job here is done. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Look, it's a conveyor belt. A conveyor belt helps construction workers move things from one spot to another so that they don't have to carry them. <laughs> Great. Oh, and look, check it out. Look at all these bricks. <laughs> They're rectangular. See the shape? <laughs> and do you know this color? <laughs> yeah, brown. Oh, and there's another shape too. Can you see it? <laughs> right, circles. Let's count the circles. One, two, Three, great job. Mmm, <gasps> this kinda reminds me of chocolate. 
Let's pretend that these are chocolate pieces and we want to move them way up there. Come on, let's check it out. Okay, let's put them on the conveyor belt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Great. Ready, little chocolates? <laughs> turn, turn, turn. Whoa! Wow! I have to keep turning, have to keep turning. <laughs> Whoa, let's get them all the way to the top. There they go. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now we're at the top. At the bottom, we put the chocolate bricks onto the conveyor belt and we turn the wheel, turn the wheel, turn the wheel until they went all the way to the top. And look, this is where they landed. <gasps> More bricks are coming. Check it out. Oh, whoa. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> okay, now I'm ready to go down the slide. I'll see you at the bottom. Woo! Woo! <laughs> yeah! That was so much fun. Whoa! What's this? Hmm, kind of looks like a bucket. Oh, check it out. When I pull this one down, that one goes higher. Oh, it's a pulley system. It helps get things from one place to another, just like a conveyor belt does. <laughs> Maybe I can send my friends some lunch at the top. <laughs> but since I don't have lunch, let's see what I have in my jam pack. Oh, look. A little construction vehicle. Let's put it in the bucket and send it up. <laughs> Ready? Here you go. <laughs> so cool. Let's put something in this bucket too. Let's see what I have in my jam pack. <gasps> A tiger. Are you ready? <laughs> ready? In you go, have fun. Woo! <laughs> wow, now the tiger is going up high. And now it's coming down low. <laughs> now it's going up high. <laughs> and look, our construction vehicle is on the other side. <laughs> wow, being a construction worker is a lot of fun. Okay, let's drive away. <laughs> wow! A tractor race. Since I'm all done with my construction work, let's go on a tractor ride. Whoa, 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 in my big tractor. Go, 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 in my big tractor. Beep, beep, backing it up. Vroom! So much fun! <laughs> Thank you so much for being a construction worker with me today. We rode a big front loader and we pretended to be cement mixing around in a cement mixer. Then we used the little excavator to dig up a ball pit. <laughs> Whoa! We did a lot today. Now it's time to hang up my vest and roll on out of here. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. See you later. We're coding, we're co co coding We're going to code. <laughs> I'm so excited. Hi, it's me, Mika, and today I'm at the Urban League Bay Area in Oakland, California. And we are going to learn how to code computers. We're gonna meet new friends, play some games. Will you come and play and learn with me? Oh, amazing! Let's robot out of here. Let's go. Let's play. Beep, up, boop, beep. Hi, I'm 
Mika, nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Ken Maxey, and great to see you here. Oh, what do you do here? Well, I'm the CEO of the Urban League of the San Francisco Bay Area, and I'm so happy to have you here. We're a civil rights organization focused on African Americans in underserved communities. Oh, that's really cool. One of the things that we focus on today is with kids. And so Kids Teach Tech is a program that focuses on coding as well as making games for kids. Oh, I really like playing games. Are we gonna play a game today? We sure are. Oh, what are we gonna do? We're gonna play a parachute game and that's gonna bring everybody together just like computer parts do. Whoa, that's yeah. very cool. All right, well, let's do it. Let's do it, ready? Yeah. Let's go. Okay, come All on. Right. Hi, everyone. Hi. This is my friend, Mika. Hi. Could I play with you? Yeah. Oh, I have an idea. Should we try and keep the ball up in the air on the parachute? Yeah. Should we try and bounce up in the air? Okay, let's do it. Whoa. Thank you. Put it back in the middle and then grab your handle. Ah! See, we're working together. All right, freeze, freeze, freeze. Oh, good listening. We work together, huh, to keep that ball on the parachute. I think that calls for a 10 second dance party. Will you dance? Let's all dance. And I'm Tara. Hi, Ava. Hi, Tara. And we're, and we're coding, coding teachers. teachers. Coding teachers. And what's coding? Coding is when you tell a computer what to do. Oh, kind of like the game Tara says or Ava says? Exactly. Yeah. Would you like to play a game with Mika says? Yeah, that sounds really fun. Let's do it. Hi. Do you want to play a game with me? Yeah. 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 What if we played Mika says? Yeah. yeah. And you can play too. Do you know how to play Mika Says? Yes. Okay, so when I say Mika Says, you have to do whatever I say. But don't do it if I don't say Mika Says. So for example, if I say Mika Says, cover your eyes. Mika Says, pat your belly. Hop like a frog. Whoa, good listening, because I didn't say Mika Says. Okay, ready to play for real? Yeah. yeah. Okay, ready? Mika says, jump up and down. Mika says, stomp like a dinosaur. Ooh, ooh I like your roars. Mika says, roar. Roar, 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 roar. Mika says, turn around. Pat your knees. Oh, I didn't say Mika says. You have to really listen, right? Okay, Mika says, show me your best dance move. Ooh, Mika says, Purr like a kitty cat. Meow, meow, meow. Mika says, bark like a dog. Jump up and down again. Oh, oh, I didn't say Mika says. Mika says, clap your hands. Good job. Wow, that was excellent work, coders. That's similar to how a computer works. Oh, that's right, because you give a computer instructions and then the computer knows what to do. Correct, and anyone can code, even two-year-old Maya code using blocks. No way, that's so cool. <gasps> that gives me a great idea for another game. What if we played freeze dance? Let's do it. Are you ready to play? Yeah! yeah! And will you play too? Amazing! Okay, so when the music's on, we're gonna dance right and do our best dance moves. And then when the music stops, you freeze. Everyone know how to play? Yeah! All right, let's dance! <laughs> Whoa, good freeze. Are you frozen? Mm -hmm. Nice. Should we dance again? Frozen? <laughs> you are so good at freeze dance. Should we dance one more time? <laughs> wow, you are so good at freeze dance. Hey, 
It's like you all are like a computer and I was like a coder giving you instructions. That's so cool. Great job, computer. Everyone, I have some really cool gold stars to give you. Good job playing freeze dance and using good listening ears. Here you are. Here you are. You want a sticker? There you go. Good job, everyone. And good job to you, too. Hey, you two. Hi. I heard that you are both really good coders, so I bet you really know your way around a computer, huh? Did yeah. you know that a phone is a computer? A phone is a computer? Yeah, that's right, a really small computer. I did know that a computer's memory is called RAM. And hey, we used our RAM earlier when we played all those games to remember what to do. Correct. And some other cool things to know, there's a lady named Katherine Johnson who was known as the human computer. She helped astronauts out of the moon. Yeah, I've heard of her, a really smart coder who inspired a lot of people to become space cadets and work for NASA. Wouldn't it be cool to be a space cadet? Yes. yes. And also Mae Jemison. Mae was the first black woman to travel into space. She served as a mission specialist aboard the space shuttle Endeavour. Oh, that's amazing. Two really smart coders. And you're two smart coders. What are you working on over there? Puppy, puppy party. Puppy party, let's check it out. Oh, look at those cute puppies. I know, they're adorable. <laughs> they are. And what's all this? This is our coat. Oh, is the code kind of like the instructions? Of course. Oh, neat. So once we finish the game, it'll look like this. So we go around, tag all the puppies, Aww. little cuties, Aww. and then and at the end, you <gasps> dance. Wow, that's so fun. I can't believe you two created this game all by yourselves. I'm so impressed. Thank you for showing us all of that. Now let's dance out of here like puppies. Dance like puppies, yes please. Come on. <laughs> wow, that was so much fun. Hey, let's keep playing. Mika says run in a circle. Ready? Mika says do four jumping jacks. One, two, three, four. Mika says take a break. <sighs> Wait a second. Did I just code myself? <laughs> that was so cool. What a fun day learning and playing at Urban League Bay Area. We learned how to code computers and I think it's really cool that a phone is a computer. A really small computer. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. All right, I'll see you later. <gasps> Mika says, bounce like a ball. Boing. Bye. <laughs> hey, check it out. A yellow balloon. Hey, I'm Mika. Nice to meet ya. <gasps> What's your name? My name is Balloonie. <laughs> hey, Balloonie. Balloonie and I are at Kids World in Oak Park, California. <gasps> Whoa! <gasps> this place looks like so much fun! <laughs> What's that, Balloonie? Mika, Mika, I'd like you to meet my family. <gasps> I would love to meet your family, friend. <gasps> yeah, we'll meet Balloonie's family and have lots adventures along the way. <laughs> Are you ready to explore? <laughs> Great! Balloonie, lead the way! Here we go! You and I are buddies together. Whatever the weather, we'll be friends forever. You and I are buddies together. Whatever the weather, we'll be friends forever and ever. I'm so happy you're my buddy. We play together all the time. And it's because you are my buddy that I want to laugh and smile. I want the whole wide world to see that you're the best buddy that ever could be. You and I are buddies together. Whatever the weather, we'll be friends forever. Yeah, you and I are buddies together. Whatever the weather, we'll be friends forever. Cause you and I are buddies together. Whatever the
sharing with you, Balloonie. Me too, Mika. This is great. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. Uh Hot lava. How will we ever make it to the other side? Don't worry, Mika. I have a plan. Let's zip line across. That's a great idea, Balloonie. We'll zip line across and avoid the hot lava. <laughs> okay, here we go. Are you ready, Balloonie? Hold on tight. Don't worry, Mika. <laughs> we got this. Ready, set, Idea, Balloonie. <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! Look at all these colorful blocks. What's that, Balloonie? Mika, will you make me a playground out of these colorful blocks? <gasps> sure, friend. I love to build. <laughs> okay, friend. You can sit right there, Balloonie. Are you comfy? Yeah. I'm feeling great. <laughs> great. Hmm. Whoa. Check it out. <laughs> Do you like my new hat? <laughs> yeah. Hey, this kind of looks like the roof of a house. <laughs> this could be the top of the little playground. <laughs> Whoa. Check it out. This kind of looks like the letter C. <laughs> C for cute and cozy. <laughs> hey, Balloonie, do you know what this color is? Uh, is it purple? <laughs> no, Balloonie. Would you like to try again? Sure. Uh, blue. That's right, Balloonie. It is blue. <laughs> Good job, friend. <laughs> we'll put that there. And we'll put the roof on top. <laughs> it looks like a little house. <laughs> on our way to see Balloonie's family. Lots of fun things to do for you and me. La ha 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 ha. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Do you know what this shape is? That's right, it's a triangle. A triangle has three sides. Hmm, where should we put this triangle? I know. Yeah, it could go right there. Kind of looks like a slide. <laughs> Ooh, check out this shape. It's a rectangle. <laughs> we'll put the rectangle right here. Yeah. Ooh, another rectangle. <gasps> Hey, I can use this as a microphone, cause I love to sing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's that, Balloonie? You wanna sing too? Sure, friend. Take it away. La la la, this is so much fun to be on an adventure with Mika, yeah. Whoa! We should collab, clap for Balloonie. That was incredible, friend. I didn't know you were such a great vocalist. <laughs> okay, let's keep building. <laughs> what do you say, Balloonie? Are you ready to try out your new playground? Yeah, that looks fun. <laughs> Whoa, wee! Yeah, go down the slide now. Ready, set, go! <laughs> Hmm, oh, I know. Let's knock it all down. Ready, set it, go! <laughs> yeah! Oh, that was so much fun! <laughs> Uh-oh. Do you see what I see? <gasps> More hot lava! Wait. I have an idea, Balloonie. Let's use some shapes to get across. Yeah, Mika, you have such great ideas, and you're so nice and smart and kind. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Balloonie. <laughs> great, here we go. <laughs> I know, we'll use this purple square. 
and this red square. Okay, let's get across this hot lava. Oh, good job. Keep those little toes moving. Come on, friends. Whoa. Okay, I have to reach and get that one. Oh, 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 oh. I got it. Woo. Here we go. Hop. <laughs> yeah, let's hop across like a bunny rabbit. Hop, hop, hop. <laughs> Keep on going. Hop, hop, hop. It's hot, hot, hot! <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> we made it! We made it to the other side! This calls for a 10 second dance party! <gasps> oh yeah, Balloonie! You know I love to dance! We did it! We did it! We never ever quit it! We did it! <laughs> Great job, friends! Okay, Balloonie, I'm so excited to meet your family. This way, Mika and friends. <laughs> Come on. Peekaboo, I see you. <laughs> Peekaboo, do you see me? <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Oh, a river. Hey, Mika, Mika. I have an idea. What's that, Balloonie? Let's go fishing! <laughs> I love that idea, Balloonie. Would you like to go fishing with us? Oh, great! Let's cast our fishing lines. Ready? Get your fishing pole! <laughs> Whoa! Did you know a group of fish is called a school of fish? Yeah! Oh, I think I feel a fish at the end of my line. Let's reel it in. What a boot! <laughs> okay, let's try again. How are you doing, Malooney? Yeah? Mm-hmm, I know you have to be really patient when you're fishing. <sighs> let's try again. Oh, I think I feel a fish. Let's see. Reel it in. <laughs> yeah, we got a fish. That was awesome. <laughs> What's that, Balloonie? Let's go this way. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Volcanoes. This must be where all that hot lava is coming from. Whoa, and they're blowing out hot air. Be careful, Balloonie. <laughs> hey, let's count the volcanoes together. But we have to do it quickly before they explode. One, two, three, four. <laughs> oh. going down slides. And check it out. This slide is the same color as Balloonie. One of my two favorite colors. Yellow. <laughs> okay. Let's go down the slide together, Balloonie. Will you help count us down, friend? Okay. Three, two, one. an idea for a game. What's that, Balloonie? We love to play games. Let's play Keep Up. That's where you try not to let me hit the ground. <gasps> okay, Balloonie, that sounds like fun. Ready? <gasps> oh. Keep tapping Balloonie so that they don't fall. <laughs> yeah, Mika, this is fun. <laughs> this is fun, Balloonie. <laughs> We made it to your family's home. Will you introduce me to your family? Yeah, come on. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I'm Mika. Nice to meet ya. Oh, Mika, do you like my home? Isn't it so snug? 
Yes, Bonnie, this is really, really cozy. Will you introduce me to your family? Sure. This is Baluna, Baloonie, Baluno, Baloonie, Baloonie, <laughs> and Sandra. Oh, wow, well, it is so nice to meet you, everyone. Baloonie and I have been having a great time, and they told me all about you. <gasps> <laughs> wow, this has been so much fun! Let's have a balloon dance party! Cause we did it, we did it, we never ever quit it, we did it! We met Maloney's family and had a great time today. <sighs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you would like to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name! <gasps> Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika! Until next time, friends, bye! <laughs>And I'm so excited because today we're going to feed and care for horses. And also, I heard there are some other animals here for us to meet. Come on, let's go explore. Howdy, y'all. It's cowgirl Mika coming to check on my horses. This rootin' tootin' town needs someone to make sure all the animals are taken care of. And I'm the gal for that. <laughs> Okay, let's go get the horses started on their daily routine. I've been given permission to feed all the animals here today. Can you help me? Oh, great! I've got my bucket. Come on, let's go. Bye, Bobby. Hey, buddy. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. <gasps> Whoa, he must be so excited to meet me. Did you know? You can tell a lot about a horse's mood by the way his ears are pointed. If they're pinned back, that means they're not feeling very friendly, so we should give them some space. But if they're forward, that means they're looking ahead and it's okay to pet them. Oh, look, his ears are pointed forward. He must be ready for us to pet. Let's go. Hi, buddy. Wow, he's so soft. Did you know that a horse can look at two different... Yeah, that's right, buddy. He's excited to eat. Did you know horses can pay attention to different things when their ears are pointed in different directions? That means they're focused on two different things at the same time. But he's ready to eat. Let's feed him. <laughs> What's in my bucket? What's for breakfast? Hmm, what do I have for you to munch and crunch? <gasps> Look, we have some carrots and some hay. Let's go. Are you ready, buddy? Oh, wow. Let's try some hay next. Oh, great job, pal. Horses are herbivores, so they love to eat plants. Did you know horses don't have to brush their teeth? That's right. That's because their teeth keep growing and growing. And they never get too long because they just get whittled down when they eat. <laughs> really cool. <laughs> Buddy is a Palomino horse. Horses come in all different colors, like Appaloosa, Pinto, Paint, Black. I've got it. Let's go on a ride and find a bay horse. Come on, let's go. Check out all these horses. Okay, first we'll park Buddy, and then we'll take a closer look. Great job, Buddy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna dismount now. Now he's in. <gasps> wow, look at all these horses. They're so colorful. <gasps> Check out Happy. Hello, Happy. 
Is happy a bay horse? No, happy is an Appaloosa. <laughs> cool. Let's keep looking for our bay horse. Check this guy out. I wonder if he's a bay horse. Hi, are you a bay horse? No, that's a chestnut horse. Let's keep looking. <laughs> oh, I see another horse over there. Let's go see. Hello, <laughs> are you a bay horse? Oh, no, that's a Palomino, just like Buddy. Okay, one more. Is this a bay horse? That's right, it is a bay horse. <laughs> Hello, I'm here to take care of you. <laughs> Let's walk him over to his stall. There we go. All right, we're ready. Come on. <laughs> now that we're here, we should check his stall. It's important to keep a horse's stall clean from manure and mud so they don't get sick. Ha ha ha! Wow, it's spotless! Great job keeping your room clean! <laughs> Just kidding! Now it's time for some grooming. I'll grab my brush. Wow! It's important to clean off any dirt that might bother them under their saddle. We can also check for any injuries he might have gotten overnight. Great! Did you know that horses can run right after being born? That's incredible! It takes humans a lot longer to learn how to run. First, we learn how to roll over, and then sit up, and then crawl, and then walk, and then run. But horses can do it right away. That's so impressive. Must be because their legs are so strong. Do you need any lunch? No, nope, you've already eaten? Okay, guess my work here is done. See you later. Let's go check out what other animals we can feed. Oh. Wow, check out this petting corral. Let's see what kind of animals are inside for us to care for. Follow me. Whoa, there are so many animals. I see goats and alpacas. Oh, there's even a chicken. Let's see if they need some food. Come on in. Hello. Hi, I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Oh, it looks like he's ready. Have you had any food? That means, yep, I'm all full. <laughs> What's in my bucket? I grab my brush so your hair can be nice and plush. <laughs> okay, he's ready. Let's start brushing. <laughs> Brushing is important because it loosens any loose hair and dandruff from their hair. Mm-hmm. That helps keep their blood flow nice and healthy. There you are, friend. Great job. <laughs> You're all clean. You look great. My job is done here. Wow, bunny rabbits. Let's hop inside. Hop, hop. Keep hopping. <laughs> Check out all these bunny rabbits. <laughs> What's in my bucket? What's for lunch? What do I have for you to munch and crunch? <laughs> oh, lettuce! Bunnies are herbivores. That means they like to eat plants. And they're very social too, so they like to live in groups. Let's count how many bunny rabbits we see. One, two, three. Three bunny rabbits. Oh, they're so soft and cuddly. <laughs> and bunny rabbits, 
their teeth, they just keep growing just like horses. But it gets whittled down after they eat. <laughs> Well, our rabbits are all fed. Let's go see what other animals we can find. Oh, look at these tortoises. They're so cool. Are you ready for some lunch? <laughs> yes, I got you. What's in my bucket? What's for lunch? What do I have for you to munch and crunch? Whoa, he started early. That's right, it's lettuce. A tortoise's shell is really tough to protect them. They can put their head, arms, and legs inside like a cozy little home. <laughs> and these shapes, they're called scutes. Oh, that's a lot of scutes. Now that the tortoises are fed, I'll just scoot on out of here. Success! All the animals are fed, groomed, and taken care of. Thanks for helping me, friend. <laughs> that was so much fun meeting Buddy and all those cute bunnies, tortoises, and goats. They're all fed and ready for their day. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. All right, y'all. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Mika. And today we're at Posh and Petite Playhouse in Woodland Hills, California. <laughs> Did you know this is a place where we can explore and be curious about different jobs? <laughs> I can't wait to try different jobs like an ice cream maker or a firefighter. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Which way should we go? Oh, check out this road. <laughs> Look, it's black with white stripes. Oh, black and white are opposite colors. Opposites mean they're completely different from one another. Kind of like, oh, night and day, or hot and cold. <laughs> oh, check it out. Do you see that horse over there? Oh, let's drive our car over to him. <laughs> Hello, horsey. <laughs> I'm going to name him Popsicle, because I really love Popsicle. <laughs> Can you pretend to be a horse? <gasps> Play! Whoa! Oh, he's got a lot of horsepower. Let's go! <laughs> Check it out. It's a marketplace. We can buy healthy fruits and vegetables here and make delicious meals. I know. Let's be a grocer. <laughs> All right, see you later, Popsicle. First, we need our basket. <laughs> oh, wow. Check it out. If we want to be a grocer, we have to get some items to put in our basket so we can ring it up. First, we'll need some alphabet soup. That's healthy and delicious. And how about some peas and carrots? And, ooh, mushrooms too. Check out all these healthy fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are good for your body because they help you grow strong. <laughs> I got it. Let's play a game. Fruit or vegetable? A carrot. It's orange and crunchy and bunny rabbits love to eat them. Mmm, tasty. <laughs> Do you know if this is a fruit or a vegetable? Oh, that's right, a vegetable. Great job. All right, how about this? It's a cucumber. It's green and it has seeds. Fruits have seeds and vegetables don't. Fruit or vegetable? Oh yeah, that's a tricky one. It's a fruit, even though it seems like it's a vegetable. But great job. Hmm, 
Oh, yum. A strawberry. Strawberries are really, really sweet. Is a strawberry a fruit or a vegetable? <laughs> awesome. A fruit. One fruit point, please. Hmm. Oh, look. A lemon. Lemons are one of my favorite colors. Yellow. And they're really sour. Can you pretend to taste a sour lemon? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, sour is the opposite of sweet. Strawberries are sweet, but lemons are sour. Is this a fruit or a vegetable? <laughs> right, a fruit, just like the sweet strawberry. Okay, ooh, check it out, a piece of corn. <gasps> Mmm, that's delicious. Do you know if it's a fruit or a vegetable? <laughs> right, a yummy vegetable. All right, let's go check out now. Welcome to Mika's Marketplace. Oh, I see you got corn. And you're in luck, because we have a special on corn. Just one cent. And a lemon and our sweet strawberry, and a delicious carrot, and alphabet soup, peas and carrots, mmm, mushrooms. Wow, you got so many healthy options. <laughs> oh, being a grocer is so much fun. We even got to help a customer take home delicious vegetables to make yummy meals. <laughs> Let's go see what other jobs we can do. Yeehaw! Hey, we're at an ice cream shop. I know, let's pretend to be ice cream makers. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Let's go! Welcome to Mika's Magical Ice Cream Parlor. What's that? Fresh baked cookies? <laughs> Coming right up. Look at that. Fresh out the oven. Oh, they smell delicious. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 12 crispy cookies. Let's taste one. Mmm, that's delicious. Would you like a bite? <laughs> there you go. Mmm, <laughs> do you know what this is? That's right, a purple popsicle, just like my horse's name. <laughs> Would you like a popsicle? There you are, one for you and one for me. Oh, that's really cold. Perfect for a hot day. Oh, those are opposites, hot and cold. When I'm cold, oh, it makes me shiver. But when I'm hot, oh, I could sure use a popsicle. <laughs> Would you like some ice cream today? Great, how many scoops? Five scoops? Okay, here we go. One chocolate scoop. Two, a vanilla scoop. Three, mint chocolate chip. Oh, there you go, friend. Perfect. Four, a strawberry scoop. And five, a vanilla scoop on top. Wow, it's stacked up so high. Mm. <laughs> I love being an ice cream maker. I love scooping ice cream and tasting it too. Hey, I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> okay, let's see what other jobs we can do. <gasps> oh, don't forget Popsicle. Hello, Popsicle. Are you ready? Are you set? Go! Wow, check it out. We're in front of a fire station. 
A firefighter's job is to put out fires. Do you want to be a firefighter with me? <laughs> awesome. Let's go. This is a cool fire station. Oh, look, a fire truck. It's red and really long too. <laughs> and look at these trucks. Let's go park. All right, to the parking lot we go. Oh, and look at these trucks. They're really big. Oh, and these trucks are small. Big and small. Those are opposites. How about this one? Big or small compared to this truck? Pretty small, right? <laughs> but what about compared to this one? Oh, now it's really big. <laughs> Do you hear that? It's a siren. Oh, we gotta get ready to go. Put out a fire. Hello? Yes, fire? On one, two, three, fire road? Oh no! Let's go! Grab our hose! <gasps> Firefighter Mika is on the way! Grab my hose and save the day! Oh! Awesome! We just put out a fire! Oh, <laughs> that was so much fun! Thanks for helping me, you're very brave! Firefighters are really brave. <laughs> Let's go see what other jobs we can do. Whoa, look, an animal hospital. This is where veterinarians work. Veterinarians are doctors, but for animals. Would you like to be a veterinarian with me? <laughs> awesome, let's go. <laughs> oh, look at these doors. A small door for turtles and hamsters and gerbils too, and a medium door for bunny rabbits and ducks, quack quack, and ferrets and guinea pigs too. And a large door for cats and dogs. Large and small, those are opposites. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Oh, and look at this door for birdies. Oh, that's another opposite. High and low, low and high. <laughs> Let's pretend to be birds fly into the vet's office. Tweet, 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 tweet. <laughs> oh, do you hear that? Paging Dr. Mika, you have a patient ready. Okay. Oh, and check it out, here's our patient. Hello, puppy, how are you today? Little scratches, scratches. Did your family bring you here for a checkup? Oh, awesome. All right, let's get started, boy. We have a stethoscope. Stethoscopes are for hearing what's inside of your body, like your heart. Oh, may I check your heart too? Great. Wow, that sounds nice and strong. Okay, let's check puppy's heart. This might be a little cold. <gasps> wow, that sounds so healthy and strong. You must be getting on your daily walks, huh? Don't forget to hydrate, okay? Doctor's orders. <laughs> oh, being a veterinarian is so much fun. I love helping animals and their families too. <laughs> Now that I checked out the whole town, I'm gonna hit the road. Are you ready, Popsicle? <laughs> Let's go, giddy up! <laughs> Thank you so much for exploring different jobs with me today. <laughs> if I had to choose, I'd be a ice cream maker, grocer, animal doctor, firefighter. <laughs> all at once. <laughs> they were all so much fun, I can't just pick one. <laughs> but you know the best part? Exploring with you, friend. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? Oh, great! <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika! <laughs> okay, friends. See you later. Bye-bye!